I got money and be me. I'm with the gang, I'm with the mob, what was you thinking? Yo, what's good, G-Fam? We're back at it with another Giants game day vlog. It's currently Sunday morning, about 3.45 in the morning. Got a 6 a.m. flight out to Kansas City. My Uber's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. So we got a 6 a.m. flight out to Orlando, then we got an hour layover, then out to Kansas City, getting at about lunchtime. It's about to be lit. And the game's not till Monday night, so we're gonna have the rest of the day to go explore downtown KC. It's about to be lit. Also figured out a little bag hack now with uh, the new NFL bag policy inside the stadiums. On my last trip out to New Orleans and Dallas, I was working out of the see-through tote bag and it got no zippers. So I was like, I was walking through the airport and shit with uh, all my like clothing in a see-through bag, no zipper at all. So I figured out a little hack, put the see-through tote bag inside the backpack itself. So I just gotta bring it to the stadium, but the rest of the time I could use my regular backpack. And we made it through security. Flight takes off in a little over an hour. It's about to be good. Yo, what's good, G fam? Just wanted to share a little something while I'm waiting uh, at Newark Airport for my flight out to Kansas City. So last Sunday morning, I'm out doing my thing, right? So I'm like, whatever, getting bagels or some shit. And my guy who runs the tailgate, Jeremy, is like, yo, where are you at? People are looking for me. People are looking for me? Like, so I get to the tailgate, there's people waiting for me over there to say hi and shit. It's like, oh, you know, it's just been getting crazy about the week. You know, every single game, it's more and more people coming over like, hey, yo, I watch your YouTube videos. Oh, I follow you on TikTok and all that shit. I'm like, I really appreciate all the support, man. So, yeah, if you see me at a game, stop by. Maybe I'll put you in the YouTube vlog and all that shit. But, yeah, appreciate it. Show me fake love, thank God I'm on my way yeah. Get to the money, can't lay yeah. I'm in an ass, no play yeah. New dream, new flame Got no rip and I can't with the tape Going out of rip, ain't telling no fame Got a guy kill and I couldn't even say Got me feeling so groove Ain't have much to black to a move On the security roll, still thinking with a two Feel a nigga low, I don't burn, call the loot I can tell these hoes, I'm feeling like they choose Even later clothes, I bought a bad gooch Remember back then, you spit up in a hoop Pain in my heart, like smoking like dope Pop a lot of shit that a nigga can't change Yo, what's good, G-Fam? Just landed out here in Kansas City It's fucking freezing and gonna go get some bagels, gonna go check into the hotel, go explore downtown. It's gonna be a pretty lit day out here. Maybe watch some football. It's a bad to be lit. Yo, what's good, G fam? Just went to the bagel shop over here. Got four onion bagels, two uh, chocolate chip bagels. They were out of everything bagels, but it sucks, but it's all good. I'm here till Tuesday morning, so I got six bagels to last me today, tomorrow, and that's about it. Yeah. Quick in and out, Kansas City, get that dub back to Jersey Tuesday. Yo, what is good, G Famous? Game day, it's like 8 a.m. Game is at 7.15 tonight because we're central out here in Kansas City. But yeah, about to go check out the free hotel breakfast. It's about to be a lit day out here. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, G Fam? It's game day. Here's the game day fit. Got a hoodie on with the Young Shep jersey. Got the giant sideline pants on. Got the red and blue NMDs. Can't see them with this mirror. Hey, But yeah, we're about to head downtown. Go check out the World War II Memorial and shit. Go walk around downtown. It's about to be lit. It's fucking pouring out snowing. I don't even know what the hell is going on outside. I did look ahead though at the weather, so I saw it was gonna be a little messy. So I did bring some rain pants and a coat. Cause I only got one pair of regular pants. So now I'll be able to go walk around and explore a little bit of downtown without getting soaked through. Yep, about to head downtown. It's about to be lit. Got the backpack. And we're all bundled up. Don't want to get too wet before the game tonight. Although according to the weather, it should be slowing down before the game starts. So that's good. Just gonna swing it right around this way. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so there's the memorial right here behind me and then straight down behind it it's like main street of downtown 
which sucks. It doesn't even look like it's too far of a walk, but I'm gonna have to catch an Uber because I ain't trying to get wet right now. Yo, what's good, G fam? We have made it out here to the memorial. It sucks. It seems to be on Mondays. So everything around here in Kansas City is closed. So the actual the actual museum part of this memorial is closed today. And I was also gonna go check out the Negro Leagues Baseball Hall of Fame. That's close as well today. I don't think it's worth the trip to go just look at the outside of it, but this is pretty nice. So I'm gonna check this out. Then I'm gonna keep on heading down to downtown. About to be a nice little afternoon out here in Kansas City before we head to the game. It's about to be lit. And we have made it up all the way up here. In honor of those who served in the, hold on a second, World War in defense of liberty and our country. Pretty nice. And it's something else. This low key might be the nicest view of the overall downtown of the entire city. Check this out real quick. So we got the memorial out here behind me. Then check this out. Holy. This is actually sick. That big grassy hill right over there reminds me of Cleveland. Kind of like a big, nice grassy area you could walk and sit around with a nice view of downtown. We're going to go walk down here for a little bit. This is sick. I hope uh, these stairs right back here lead me to back down there. I guess we'll find out. All right, G-Fam, here is the new plan. Since I'm getting soaked through, this rain is so fucking weird. It's like slu half slush, half ice and shit. So we're gonna go check this little uh, downtown square out right back over here. Then we're gonna head back to the hotel, go dry off. I'm gonna have to blow dry my shoes and socks and shit so I can go to the game dry because it should stop raining by then. But yeah, let's go check this out. Man, I can't stress this enough about how bad this weather fucking sucks right now. But shit, my flight's 7 a.m. tomorrow. Gotta fit it all in today. YOLO. Western Auto. Isn't that the shit they got at the San Diego Padres, or is that the metal supply? Same shit, though, no? <laughs> Let's go check that fountain out. So check that out. We got the memorial back there. Then we got, like, I don't know, something crown center over here. Pretty cool, though. I guess this is Union Station over here. This is where you catch like the trolleys and all that. They kind of got like the streetcars also in New Orleans. But they were closed because of the hurricane. But maybe we can hop on one of these. Man, this really hit home right over here. So we got the World War Memorial right back here. This over here is uh, an Auschwitz car. They used to use these to transport Jews to uh, the concentration camps back in World War II. Yo, what's good, G fam? Made it to Arrowhead Stadium. Yo, what's good, G fam? It's like 5:05, kickoff 7:15. About to head inside for warmups. This is bad to be lit. Prime time, baby. Can I get a picture also? KT, can I get a picture? Over here? Appreciate it. Thank you. What's up?
the shotgun set. McKinnon to his left. Mahomes takes the snap. He's looking. Nothing's available. Now he escapes. Now throws back in the end zone, and it's caught in the back of the end zone for a touchdown by Tyree Kill in front of Julian Love. Oh my God, he caught that! Holy shit! Holy shit, what a catch. John Ross, baby. Yes, sir. Giants are about to score in the end zone right over here. Let's go! Giants took the lead 
baby. Hey, you can. Third and four. Jones got it. Touchdown, Giants. And there's Evan Ingram <laughs> answering the question. Nice to see you, Evan Ingram. First catch of the night for Ingram. And it's worth six points. And a really nice route. He's matched up man-to-man -man on Daniel Sorensen right here in the slot. He just comes up and gives him a little hesitation, inside move, and then speed to the outside, and a perfectly thrown ball. That ball had to be on the outside shoulder for the touchdown. See, if you're Dan Sorensen and you have a safety in the middle of the field, you have to protect. You can't get beat on the outs. You have to protect that you Giants up 17-14. Yeah. Next Sunday, Giants Raiders. Yeah, that's about it. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Also, nice to see you know Patrick Mahomes and shit. We don't play him too often. We're TikTok and shit. Shout out to NY Giants guy. He was here first of all the entire game in the damn cold. I don't know how he did it. Even I took some breaks in the back. Don't tell anybody. And I got Kyle Rudolph's glove, so that's pretty fucking cool. Yo, check this out. It's Omar from House of Highlights. What's your name? Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I see him, right? There. And that's a wrap from Arrowhead Stadium out here in Kansas City. Back to Jersey tomorrow, y'all. 
and we out of here. Got to be at the airport in like seven hours. Yo, it's good, G fam. So we got Arrowhead Stadium right back here. And right across the way right here is Kauffman Stadium where the Kansas City Royals play. Man, it still haunts me to this day. Mets Royals World Series 2015. Mets should have had that bullshit. Yo, what's good, G fam? Y'all gotta listen to this. The craziest fucking thing just happened, right? So every single time after an away game, I go over to the players' parking lot where like the away team buses are at, and I just like hang out, you know, see the players get on the buses and shit. And all the players' family members always wait over there, right? Wait for their uh, guys to come out and say hi and shit before they have to get back on the bus. So I notice I'm standing next to this lady wearing a number eight beanie, right? So I asked them, hey, are you guys Danny Dimes' parents? At first, they were like silent. They, they didn't want to answer. They were like, oh, they sell the number eight beanies everywhere, right? I'm like, hold on. His dad's like 6'8". His mom's wearing a number, e number eight beanie. I'm like, that has to be them, right? So it turns out they're Danny Dimes' parents, right? So I'm waiting out there with Danny Dimes' parents while his parents are waiting for Danny Dimes to come out of the stadium, right? So I'm talking to his dad, Steve, for like five minutes, and then Danny Dimes comes out, right? And then his Danny's talking to his parents for like 10 minutes, right? And before he gets back on the bus, his dad, Steve, he's like, yo, Ben, come over here real quick. And I get to introduce myself to Danny Dimes. Mind you, I don't have any videos or pictures of this. I was just trying to play it cool, you know? I don't need another picture. I'd rather, you know, actually talk to the guy, shake his hand. So I pretty much, I got to introduce myself and all that shit. I'm like, you know, I go to every game and all that. And he's like, I appreciate all the support. We're gonna fix this for you guys. Turn it around and all that. You know, I got to shake his hand and shake his hand again on his way back. And then that was fucking awesome though. Shout out to Danny Dimes' dad, Steve from Charlotte, North Carolina though. Safe travels to y'all. Appreciate you guys calling me over into the exclusive family area. But yeah, that was actually an awesome experience, you know, to not record and, you know, just, you know, actually get to talk to Danny for a bit. So yeah, appreciate it to the Jones family. Yo, what's good, G fam? It's like 6 a.m. We are off to the airport, baby. Uber's about to pull up any second. Off to the airport. Great time in Kansas City though. And we have made it to the airport like 6.20. Now it's like 6.30 right now. I got a 7.45 in the morning flight. Let's get through security, get on our way back to Jersey, man. Back to work tonight. Finally hit a leg, go to shot him in the brain. Hit him with a stick, get him ready for the tank. I can let you get close, fuck up with me, go tonight. Sitting up, proud from the niggas in the chain. Did a lot of shit, I never took the blame. Caught again on my wrist, bust down, never chain. Keep me head down, standing in my own lane. Look, show me fake love. Thank God I'm on the way. Yeah. Get to the money, can't lay. Yeah. I'm in a national play. Yeah. New drip, new flame. Got a little whip and a can with a tape. Going out of the river, ain't telling no fame. Cause I got killed and I couldn't make same. If you talk money, then we get a step close. Got so much on my mind, but the word on the show. Don't stop talking, I'm safe down low. Nigga talk tough, I hit him with a toast. People now you act sound, keep him working most. But don't shake your for the fragrance in the load. Sip a lot of men, quarantine on the soul. Find a boy dead, so I'm head on the show. Have a real lot of day. Yo, what's good, G fam? We are back in Jersey. I'll be at MetLife next Sunday, Giants Raiders, and we got a bye week, and then the following Monday night, Monday night football in Tampa Bay, Giants, Bucks. So yeah, Raiders, bye, then the Bucks. Anyways, that's a wrap from the Kansas City trip. Thank you all for watching.